Caesar is one of the most iconic and beloved characters of the last like decade plus. I love him so much. And I was curious, like, was it daunting having to follow that up and having to come up with a character that could be as compelling and take us through a new trilogy of movies? Yeah, yeah, it was. Especially <laughs> Andy. I mean, I mean, poor Owen. It's like, hey, dude, your job is to follow up Andy Circus's <laughs> performance for Caesar. It's like, what? Um, but you know what? It's like, you know, you know, it's the it's the best kind of pressure i suppose where it's the kind that makes you um check yourself and makes you kind of you know um not take it take it lightly and take it seriously but at the same time at some point when you start making the movie you have to throw all that away because if you let that kind of like be driving you kind of constant whispering in your ear it'll just crush you it'll just it'll just swamp you on set and so you're just not when you're, when you're trying to make a thousand decisions a day you know you just you have to kind of go on instinct a bit so i just kind of have to trust that you know like everyone you know from writers to owen at the end there um you know is and they did they're giving it their all they're 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 putting themselves in this thing and all their love and their heart and 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 all their kind of you know devotion towards this this great kind of set of movies this franchise of of, of movies that it's going to come through you know what i mean so you know i don't see it as like we have to top it i just i just see it as we have to you know uh, stand aside it stand next to it you know what i mean um yeah. we'll never replace what what those movies did and what andy did and now the question is can we have a new a new chapter a new adventure i think we've done it it's a definitely it's a it's a new character i think that was early on i think it was important for us where you know if rick and man talked about how they pitched that first movie it was a story from pinocchio to moses that was his story you know what i mean um and and on 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 this one, we we wanted to have a young character this time. We wanted to have a, a naive kind of innocent, not a child, but a young adult essentially. And we're going to witness kind of a very classic kind of hero's journey, you know, Joseph Campbell kind of um, you know coming of age thing of him kind of setting off on this grand adventure and kind of being exposed to a world that he gets to discover um, the truth about things and. Um, and witness kind of his 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 coming of age essentially and and so this first movie hopefully it's you know it's it's the start he's not going to become caesar by the end but it's the start of him becoming something that we can kind of explore in, in future movies um with that said hopefully the movie's on it stands on it's on its own it doesn't feel like some kind of cliffhanger or kind of incomplete in some way um so that was that was a balance we had to find you know but but yeah, Andy's a great guy though. I mean, he's he's a fantastic dude. Like I got to know him a little bit on Mouse Guard. But then early on, we were just working on the script. I called him up and said, "Andy, will you read the script for me and tell me what you think?" And you know, and I showed him all the concept art that we were kind of and just walking through the movie, what I was seeing about it. And you know, he's really supportive and it's like this is great stuff. And he gave some great kind of wisdom on and how to kind of like think about the ape thing and just the process all. And it was around that time I was like, well, you know would you be open to like talking to our actors? They're in eight camp now. And, you know, and, and so Andy kind of just, he's so gracious and just so generous and kind. He just was kind of our, our eight godfather that came in just to kind of help, you know, help everyone. Cause he, all the actors basically had never done mocap before. This is new for them. It's a certain kind of actor that wants to do that, to put all that silly suit on with all the dots in their face and the camera in front of them. You know what I mean? And so, um, Everyone was game for it, but like, you know, like they don't know what they're expecting. They're going to expect when they walk on set, you know, and how that all works. And, and I think Andy kind of just helped them kind of understand, you know, what it's like and, and how to kind of, you know, center themselves and, and be confident, you know, that they were, they were, that, that they were going to, they were going to be seen by all the cameras. <laughs> Weta could do their work on top of what, what they're, what they gave us. You know what I mean? So yeah, Andy's, I can't say enough that nice things about Andy. 